Funny thing is, I just noticed earlier that apparently today is my YouTube channel birthday. Or I guess 18th of August is my channel's birthday. I did not even know that. It's only one day after Indo Indonesia's Independence Day, apparently. My, my channel is like 13 years old and I didn't even start doing Battle Cats until like a couple of years ago. My Growing Strange video is five years old. That's crazy. Might be older than some of your viewers. Actually true, yeah. One day I'll turn my Twitch channel to be 18 plus only. And if that happens, all of you are finished. Actually, how are you guys in ranking dojo? I, I did not touch ranking dojo that much. I did a little bit. I, I just stopped at 14%. I'm like, whatever, good enough. I just popped in, do like a couple of runs. I, I reach top 20. That's good enough. <laughs> Labyrinth again already. I am very surprised at how often Labyrinth returns. All right, Labyrinth ends. And then like a week later, it's like, Labyrinth again, here we go. I don't remember when I said this, but it's like one of my main complaints about like Ultra Talent was that like Dark Eyes are super fucking rare it's really hard to get and all that stuff is like the way you get it is literally only labyrinth and rolling multiple gachas and in my head back then i was like labyrinth is probably just gonna be like heavenly tower where it returns like every once a couple of months but we've been getting labyrinth super often that we actually get like a decent amount of dark eyes like flowing in like i have 21 dark eyes already again if labyrinth keeps on returning in this kind of schedule i guess i don't really have that much complaints about ultra talents anymore aside from like the amount of np I actually have been starting to use Ubers recently. I have been playing Stardew well recently, uh, and I have definitely been using Ku here or there. If I see the stage and I think, ah, I can do this without Ubers, uh, without really having too much problem, then I won't use Ubers. Okay, Heron's Call. <laughs> it's like, okay, I don't want to bother with the snow over, right? I just say, fuck it, I'm bringing my Ku. This is also partially, I guess, why I want to ultra talent Himeyuri, because I do use Himeyuri quite a lot. She's especially good for, like, angels. Like, in here, she's not not just for the combo, she's also for like the peon, she's for the slip near, she's for the gory, she's for the hippo. She doesn't even have target relic here. I left that job to Oril. I am on 3 star depths of my heart, I haven't played the stage here. But yes, 3 star Dogumaru is probably gonna happen soon. I'll, I'll have to face that later. You know what I was thinking actually about like 3 star Dogumaru, right? The main thing about Dogumaru is like the initial mood sucks ass and like you really have to rush down the initial mood. Maybe like my fishman dies earlier or my like my can can dies earlier and that would like ruin the rush and all that stuff, right? So I was thinking, well, how do I like rush the mood? And I was thinking, can I like freeze it? And I was like, eh, maybe not without like an uber, but that's gonna be expensive to spawn. I could weaken it, but uh, Octo have a little bit of a slow attack and all that stuff and the chance is not as high. So I was thinking, what unit weakens floating and is like fast with a high chance? This is just theoretical. I, I I probably would not actually use Surgeon, but I thought it would be kind of funny. <laughs> uh, I'll like entertain the idea. <laughs> uh, did you get 5% on the last Labyrinth? Uh, nope, I got 6%. I got 5% on the last stage that I played. And then by the time the result was out, it shows that I'm at 6 and I'm like, fuck. But yeah, you can see the, my medal there. I, I have four, 4 gold and no platinum. Uh, anyways, what is the next stage on my Labyrinth? I'm at 40. This is an RR stage. I think I've made a team for this. Yeah. Labyrinth is the reason why I reached 10k and 11k UR milestone. I think I used to really not care about user rank. The main thing that kind of started making me care about user rank is fucking Super Feline. <laughs> Super Feline is the one that made me think like, alright, this unit looks cool as fuck. How do I get it? Oh my god, 15,000 user rank? Alright, it's time. Most user rank reports are fucking useless. I don't really care. It's like, yeah, cool, cat size, whatever. I don't fucking care. I don't even boost my units. Platinum tickets. Yeah, 50 MP, yeah. I was like, and then Super Feline comes out and I'm like, oh fuck, I guess I should start caring. <laughs> this is not actually looking good. I probably should have made a better lineup than this. I forgot how much peons there are. Um, Tourist is not functioning at all. And I guess turns out Ritsuko doesn't really have that much stats after all, if she doesn't seem to be doing much at all. Jesus, there's so much peons! Okay, I am very lacking damage. I should have add more damagers. I just need Vendor to actually do something, but... Okay, Dash Hunt died. Okay, Tourist can function now. Good, that's good. Okay, good. I think we should be okay. Does Risiko actually have decent stats or not? So I, I'm pretty sure this Aros isn't supposed to be strong. Okay, good. 
get the hell out of here. Have I died on this run? Oh, no, no, I definitely have died on this run. I died on that, like, one stage where it's, like, really short, and there's, like, two HN and, like, others, I think. I brought, like, no meat shield there, and I just, like, fucked up. <laughs> I forgot how small the stage is. I thought that, like, we're gonna like, have, like, a decent amount of length, but apparently not. On my first attempt, I brought Dalsim. I thought it was like, hey, maybe if we bring Dalsim and Suntan, that's gonna be enough, but apparently not. So I brought, like, little Yandam. The two HS were, like, hitting my base, and I had, like, 50k HP on my base or something like that. And little Yandam, having, like, 500 range, it hits both H there and knocks both of them back, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, this is the most useful I've seen Yandam yet. Alright, What's the next stage? Moot, Autumn, Elder Slot. Let's bring you. So you have high range, right? And you, you're, you'll you kill the Moot for me, right? Alright, let's spawn Decahedron. Boosh! Dead. Very nice. Very cool. Sixth Angel is coming. Wait, do you off range Elder Slot? All of the Moots are gonna die. That is amazing. That is so funny. With full search damage, Sixth Angel does like 500k against floating. Damn. Six Angel is a very funny unit. Uh, I I think we'll save. <laughs> I think we'll have to save Six Angel. Okay, but watch this. Brainwashed Axe gonna curse. Remove the knockback. Let's go. <laughs> okay, Brainwashed Axe doing work to remove the knockback. Holy shit! The curse. The curse is real. Oh, uh, okay. Megaban died. Okay, there we go. See, Brainwashed Axe is a pretty good unit. Don't don't let like peerless say otherwise. What a mole counter, dude. Go, Kai Cops. Okay. All right, but the next attack, fifty percent, right? You have fifty percent, right? You can do this, right? Ooh, nope. You will get hit. Oh my god, Kyclops, why are you so bad? <laughs> why does Kyclops suck ass? Come on, 50%. Good. Thank you. It is still really funny to me that like Cyclops started off as like being the worst unit ever and then suddenly popped off like crazy on Aku Cyclone and then I used him a bit more and he's still the worst unit ever. Like he literally only popped off for Aku Cyclone and that's literally it. Is this base hit? I'd imagine it probably isn't. Okay, we need to kill someone so that I can spawn more Gridiron please. Gridiron is carrying. Gendo is a better meat shield than he is a father. Jesus Christ. Ooh. This might be a good time to use Ryder. We probably Probably want that Chick Fil A to be shut down quick. So okay, I probably should spawn some kind of attacker soon. Okay, good shot. God damn, Ryder carried the entire thing. Cool, thank you, Ryder. Is Ryder like actually pretty good? Yeah, Ryder's pretty good. Guaranteed freeze is just a really good thing in general, and like she does like outrange most of the big angel threats, being Chick Fil A and Slipnir, which are like the two main things that you actually want to CC. She's cheap to spawn. She's pretty reliable. Do you guys use soap? I mean soap cat. I hope you guys use soap when you like clean yourself. Take a shower immediately. You know, I actually just did Peril of the Volcano Tree today. I saw the enemy list and I'm like, huh, this enemy list looks actually kind of scary. I think there's like Deonil, Raging Gori, Magamojo, right? And then I played the stage, I bring Doro in the ADA, and then Magamojo died in like two seconds, and then Deonil doesn't even spawn like later. And I'm like, bro, by the time Deonil appeared, like Magamojo's already almost dead. That is way easier than I expected. You're talking about soap, that's my favorite favorite snack. Uh, you might want to be a bit more careful with that. Soap is fast as fuck for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. Man's just sprinting. You'd think it's like, oh shit, it's so fast because it's like sliding through the floor or something like that. No, he he's just running. Sixth Angel, we might need your help. All right, Sixth Angel, go. Fucking kill everybody. Oh, that's a good search spawn too. I think that like knocked back one of the peng and then killed the peng afterward. That's very good. Six angels is pretty good. What the fuck? You're like really close to the enemy base for some reason though. Oh my god. That's a lot of good units too. Have you done Horopotamus this time? That is actually a good question. I'll get into that after I finish this. Nurse Cat, kill this guy, uh, remove this guy's balls. I guess the face doesn't really have any. The face is literally just a head. Doesn't have any balls. Before we move on, someone brought up an important question about Horopotamus. I beat Horopotamus this time around. <laughs> my first time ever actually clearing Horopotamus. Finally beat Horopotamus for the first time in my life. Because, you know, yeah. Jetpack doesn't even destroy Horopotamus is the thing. Jetpack just makes Horopotamus playable. Like 18, 19, 20 still kicks my ass and I still have to do the stages a couple of times to actually beat it. My Jetpack is currently 38, so I'm like, eh. The Tatty Baron, pretty much. You see here, I, I brought Ku, and despite her being level 60 ultra talent, sometimes Tacky still just like fucks her up. I think it's like 400% Tacky or something. I don't even know. Is it? I Actual insane tacky. Ah, uh, ooh, it's either thirteen or the Eva girl. The SR goes hard. I thought so too, but like Eva thirteen also has surge, which is nice. But I think I'll keep the SR. I think it's gonna be more important. Okay, forty nine. <gasps> I should have kept thirteen. You fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Go healer. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
Okay, a little island. Okay, we're good. Okay, I think I think we're good. We're good. We're good. That that doesn't look that scary, but trust me, it usually is. I think this one deserves to be over prepared. To be fair. Mm -hmm. SBK. I think this could be a good gas mask stage. We have a lot of anti blacks that we can use. How fast do you guys choose units compared to me? <laughs> I think I usually choose units a little bit faster when I'm offline. Okay, you say like I put in units that I never use, but like I use like all of these. I just throw in whatever counters the trade and then go in and then <laughs> lose. That's smooth. I always do like two really good units for the station and then a ton of shit once. Right, but like at this point, right, we've come to a point where basically every single unit that is left are good. There may be some like lesser unit, but those lesser units are still like very valuable asset for Labyrinth is the thing. I started by trashing collab units and seasonals first. I mean, that's what I already did. But like, again, the problem is now, there are no more trash units. <laughs> proof of Hero is the play and my man's not even in the stage. Look, this is the Monster Hunter preparation stage, right? This is the proof of my hero that I plan my shit. Ah, uh, shit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, um, ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh. Thailand, kill it. Oh my god, this moot is actually kind of strong. Why is this moot not dead? Oh my god, I need, I, I should have spawned Ku. I should have spawned Ku. I thought that moot is gonna be easy to kill. Let's see, what we're losing? Oh, we're losing Ku, of course. Son of a bitch. Oh my god, Jam is going nuts. Okay, yeah, Sakura, I'm pretty sure can kill the stage pretty easily. I'm surprised she got knocked back. This this Kurosawa is pretty strong. Kuro is very strong normally, right? Yeah, I guess. But I didn't expect it to be this strong in Labyrinth. Okay, we're at 6%. We're getting close. Oh, oh shit. I think Gigando's gonna be get bullied. Because Gigando has a long attack rate. Chocodiny, Ganesha. Maybe Dogu is enough here? Uh, Dogu, Dogu takes a long time to attack. Is this too early for Rice Ball? Oh, I need one more unit. Uh, uh. Wait, Anubis! You're knockback immune! Yeah! I, I just remembered! I accidentally brought you last Labyrinth! He has knockback immunity! Okay, I'm bringing Anubis. Oh shit, Rice Ball is gonna- Rice Ball is gonna proc the little doge so much, I just re I just realized this. Okay, I think it's fine either way. Okay, it, it's definitely fine. We're, we're basically killing the stage with just Rice Ball and Manic Legs. Never mind, yeah, okay, never mind, we're good. <laughs> Okay, we didn't even spawn Anubis. Never mind that. Okay, yeah, Radical is tanking everything. That's <laughs> Never actually seen someone use Radical before. Radical is a bit weird. He's kind of like Maximum the Fighter kind of problem, where he's just barely good for something, but he's not the best that you can use sometimes, if that makes sense. Plus, him having multiple knockbacks when his role is kind of supposed to be tanking is kind of weird. Radical works well against the new Zenry. Oh, I never thought of that, actually. Yeah, you're right, because he's like Surge and Floating. Wait, how weak is this sunfish? Juliet doesn't even get knocked back by it. What the hell? That's a weak ass sunfish. What the? Why do you subject us with this, with this like feed ass sunfish and then give us like 200% Akugori? What's the deal with that? You know the funny thing about this? I genuinely forgot to change my cannon. And just now I was like, wait a second. I have Holy Blast. <laughs> like, wait a second. I might be a genius. Oh my god. That... Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Did you saw that? Hermit got destroyed! Hold on, I need to think. Orthos is probably my best choice for now. Maybe I should lure to the base so that I can kill both Zolo in one shot? Okay, I'll, I'll try that. Let's see. Okay, good. Why is Zrocco such a fucking pain in the ass? Oh, fucking Zrocco, man. Zrocco's so scary. Zrocco is the original Sorel. Actually true. I wanna roll a little bit. I have a couple of tickets. Why the hell not? I'll roll 10. Isn't Dark Photo coming out? Uh, you see? Do you think I care? I have joked about like, haha, what if I wait for Dark Photo to release or something like that, but like, I don't- I- I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, that's just gonna be another unit that I'm gonna leave at level 1. Bora. More like belongs in the trash. Exchange for NP. Let's go. All right. That's all for today. Thank you for coming to the stream.